Mixing complements to change the intensity of a color using acrylic paint. To get started, you'll need your worksheet, your color wheel, and the primaries of red, yellow, and blue, a jar of water, paint brushes, paper towel or old rag, paint palette. We will be using the primaries to mix from, so it doesn't matter what order you do them, but the color on the left hand side of the worksheet needs to start with a primary color. What you'll do is you'll use your color wheel to find the complement. The complement of this color is directly across it. So for red, go across in its green. For yellow, you go across in its violet. For blue, go across in its orange. So to get started, go ahead and place the primary colors on your palette. You'll need red, and you'll need yellow, and you'll need blue. Because remember, the primaries mixed together is what makes that complement color. So to get green, you're going to have to mix blue and yellow together. So use your color wheel to help you out and begin by placing a little bit of paint to the side. So I'm going to mix my complement now of red and I'm mixing green because green is directly opposite the color wheel. Remember, when you go to mix paint, do not taint your original color with another color. It will ruin that color for you to use in the future. So what I'm doing, I'm using the back of my paintbrush to help me add different colors to mix together. And then I'm mixing them. Now I'm getting my base color of green. And then what I'm going to do is compare it to my color wheel and see where it lines up. Okay, so this is too yellow. I need it to be more blue. I need to lean more towards the blue. So I'm going to add a little Little bit of blue. First I'm wiping off the back of my paintbrush and I'm scraping up a little blue. I'm going to place it beside. The green is already on my brush and so I'm just going ahead and mix it. And then I'm going to compare this to my color wheel and see where it is. So okay. Okay. So I got it. Now that I have my green, I'm going to paint it in the square at the far end of the worksheet. So on the right hand side, I'm going to paint that in. And then just like we did with the color wheel and the tints and shades, I'm going to start to change this more and more towards the other side of the color wheel, which is red. Our goal for this paint practice is to work our way from a primary color and a complement towards the middle where they will meet. So what we'll do is we'll have a transition from one color to the next. Just like when you were painting your color wheel, the first time you mix the two colors together, they're going to lean towards one color or the other. Use that as your starting point and then take a little bit of the mixture that you just made and say, okay, does it lean towards red or green and then adjust it. So what I want to do is have a transition. I need to make one look more green. So I'm mixing more of my green into a little bit of that red mixture. And so you can see I have one mixture that looks more red, one that looks more green, and one that's starting to look more in between. And you're going to work them back and forth. So your goal will be like a stair step. So it'll be mainly green and then a little bit of red added, a little bit more red added, and you just keep on adjusting. The key with this is that you have to have enough green to start with to be able to spread it around and adjust. Once you get your colors, what I'm doing right here, the one that looks the most like red but still leans toward green, I'm going to go ahead and paint him in. And then I have one that looks a little bit more green and I added a little bit more to even make it lean towards green. Uh, and then I'm painting him in and so now I have my complement color green, then I have one that has a touch of red and one that has more red. There you go. So that's my greens going to go ahead and paint in the red at the far end of the left side of the worksheet. So that's my original red. Then I'm going to paint the one that has a touch of green next. Because I already have them mixed in my palette, this goes really fast. So this one only has a touch of green. And then I'm going to go to the one that has a little bit more green that still leans toward red. If I need to adjust, it's okay. I already got all the mixtures on my palette. So now I'm going to paint this one in. 
So for the diamond, the very last space, right in the middle of the worksheet that says neutral. This is an even mixture of the two different colors. Now, what you'll have to do is mix your reds and your greens together to where it doesn't lean towards red and it doesn't really lean towards green. If When you get to the point where you can't decide what direction it leans toward, then put it in the diamond in the middle of your worksheet. That is your neutral. Now, what you'll do is you'll mix another two primaries with two complements and do the same thing for the rest of the worksheet. So you'll use blue and you'll also use yellow and you'll be mixing with their complements to get neutrals.